Good morning, New Life Birmingham, and welcome to today's New Life News Break. Pastor and I are so delighted to be with you on this morning, and we look forward to a mighty move of God in today's service. Here's what's happening in and around NLB. Now, there will be no fellowship dinner today after service. Also, please mark your calendar upcoming for the Montgomery New Life and Birmingham Leadership Conference. That is going to be happening February 24th and 25th, and more details are forthcoming. Now, right now, let's go to our pastor for this very special observation. Good morning, New Life. I'm so happy to be with you this morning. I'm telling you, I have a word uh, from the Lord to today. I had already done my New Life news, uh, but the Lord told me to come back and give you something that he said to tell you. Uh, you've got to understand where you are in this year right now. You need to understand uh, no matter what's going on around you, you may see uh, things may not working for you, may not be working for you. That's unimportant right now. What you need to understand is what God is saying about you. Not what the enemy is trying to do, but what God is saying about you. Keep your eye on and focus on what he's saying. One thing I know he's saying, the Bible says this. It says, uh, uh, believe God or believe the Lord God and be established and believe his prophets and used to prosper. I'm not calling myself a, prosper, a prophet, but I'll tell you this much, I, don't know, I do know why I hear his voice. It's time for you to get rewarded. Many of you have been very, very faithful and obedient to the vision that God has given me and, and to actually give to you. That's part of the, 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 the work that God has given us all to do together. And God said, since you've been obedient to that and been loyal to him in that, maybe you haven't been perfect, but you've been loyal. You never fought me on the vision and you right, really work very hard to see this come to a completion. God said, I'm getting ready to reward you. Understand this, your obedience uh, to the Lord is great, but it will never be as great as the reward that God will give you. I want you to get prepared for reward. In other words, there's some things that God has promised you that are going to happen, but there's so many things he didn't say to you that he's going to do surprises are getting ready to come your way. I need you to understand what I'm saying. I need you to start believing and expecting. Believe his prophets and prosper. God said, I want you to prosper. So I need you to believe these words. I don't claim to be a prophet, but I do claim to know when I hear his voice. And God's ready to bless you. This is the year for your blessing. You guess it's the year for your season. I want you to come uh, uh, in, in, a, uh, in a heart of gratitude, believing God and understanding that God really loves you and he's been watching out for you all this time. Yes, we've suffered some things, but the Bible says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered them out of them all. That means everything that come our way, that, that has come against us, he has and will deliver us from it. But now we get to this point where God is saying, these Egyptians you shall see no more. In other words, this, this battle, this fighting you've been doing, this war you've been in, God said, I'm getting ready to end this war. He's going to be, it's going to be by divine inspiration. What I want you to do on this coming week, I need you to start fasting and praying. Now, I'm not going to call it a corporate fast that we do a, any specific type of fast, but I want you to, to, to actually begin to, to fast and pray for this week and next week. You don't have to fast every day. Choose some days to fast. And this is what's going to happen. I'm asking God, and God is actually told me to tell you, He's going to start opening your eyes to revelation. That's what's been happening with me. Uh, God has been giving me revelations and dreams, and, and He's been talking to me about things. I've been seeing, seeing visions of me, saying things in the future. I've saw myself in the future, God doing certain things ahead of time. I'm telling you right now that God is ready to move in your life. I need you to believe this. I need you to understand. I need you to fast and pray on this week and, and, and part of next week until you get to the first of the month. I think the first is on a Wednesday. I need you to fast and pray and watch what God does for you. How, how he not only will open up revelation, but he'll give you how to receive what he has for you. And it will track you down. You don't have to go. Anything that comes against you, God said, I will fight this. This will be my divine battle. You fast and pray and I will fight everything that comes against you and I'll fight for everything that you're to get. Those things that God has released and the enemy has tried to keep from you, God said, I am restoring and I'm, I'm fighting for your release. Believe me and watch what God does in your life. God bless you. Now, 
Back to you, Lady J. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor. New Life, let's be sure to adhere to what Pastor is asking us to do. And don't forget to pick up your year-end giving statements. Those are being made available in the office so that as you do your tax accounting and that sort of thing, you can have that ready to go. New Life Birmingham, let's remember to keep all those who are sick, convalescent, and bereaved in our prayers. You can find a full list of all the names who are um, in need of prayer at this time, and especially those who are grieving loved ones in your bulletin. Don't forget about Bible study on Wednesday nights. Thank you so much for your attention to these observations and our thought for the week. Something good is getting ready to happen to you.